Yes. So real quick, as promised, wanted to do a quick video about habits, about discipline, about motivation, because I think a lot of people have got it twisted. Hopefully, I hope, hope you can all hear me. Uh, that's the first thing. Um, when it comes to when it comes to habits, guys. When it comes to habits, first of all, there's a few things you need to understand. First of all, you're not going to stick to a habit if you don't know why you're even trying to do this habit, right? And and incorporate this habit into your lifestyle. You need to know exactly what it is that you actually want. You know, from a mental standpoint, from a physical standpoint, and also from a financial standpoint as well. Um, and you know, relationships, family, whatever whatever you want to do, happiness levels, whatever area of your life that you are wanting to improve on, there's obviously going to be habits that you need to do on a daily basis to have that end result. Okay. Now, the byproduct of you actually sticking to these habits and then getting the end result is that you're going to actually start impacting the people around you. Okay. This is why this is my secret weapon, okay? And if you study successful people, guys, it's not just Jake Part, and this is, this is like just, just how, how people operate, okay, at that high level. By you being out of shape, you are impacting the people around you, okay? You are actually impacting the people around you. By you being broke, having no money, and, uh, and, and just always, always out of the house, working all these long hours, for no real, you know, amazing outcome, you are impacting the people around you. Uh, if you are not looking after your mentality and you're feeling sorry for yourself and you're depressed and you, you, you're frustrated and you're pessimistic and you're always looking on the negative side of everything, you are impacting the people around you. Now, are you impacting the people around you positively with, with, what, I've just, with what I've just said? Probably not, okay. So it's also vice versa. It's also vice versa. When you when you can when you can implement daily habits, that no matter what situation you're in, you're gonna drop all the excuses, drop all the very the very valid reasons as to why you can't do X Y Z, and you stick to those habits. What's gonna happen is you're gonna actually rub off on the people around you. My son, my wife, my associates that I'm currently working with, etc. etc. I am, I am, I am, my goal is to become an asset to those people. My, my goal is not to look at them and then base my actions off what they're up to. My goal is to look at what I want, look at who I need to become, and then I need to stick to my plan regardless of what's going on. This doesn't mean that I don't have fun. This doesn't mean that I miss out on anything. This means that I've just got, sta I've just got lines, I've got boundaries, I've got standards that I do not budge on. I do not budge on them. Okay, guys. So, and because of this, I like to call this self-mastery, uh, you know, what happens is the universe opens up doors and opportunities that you wouldn't have seen before. That's I think, that, that's the thing. Our inconsistency, our lack of discipline, it impacts our self-esteem and our lack of self-esteem and self-worth actually blinds us from opportunities that are already there for you right now. This is why, if you if you ask anyone who achieved you know certain certain levels of success, how did you how did you know to do this move? How did you know to do this this exact thing? I don't know. It just felt right. It just came up and, and, and I saw it. Okay. Most people they, they they never see it. They're never gonna see it because they can't they can't even give themselves a command to follow it. They have not mastered self. Okay. You are the center of your universe. This is why I've got my my coaching group, my self mastery group, because we're a group of in, of individuals. And if, if you if you if you work with me in any capacity, I want to find out where you're at right now. I want to find out what your goals are. I want to find out who you've got around you. What 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 could potentially distract you? And then I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the blueprint that, not not a blueprint that I've read in a book. A blueprint that actually what that's worked for me and continues to work for me in all areas of my life. I'm not just talking about financially. I'm talking about uh, happiness in a relationship. I'm talking about um, you know the friendship circles. I'm talking about self confidence. I'm talking about having a positive impact on you know in the world. I'm talking about you know physically you know physically um, how how I stay active, how I stay healthy. Um, you know not looking to get ridiculously you know uh, you know. Busting out, you know, in, 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 you know, when it comes to like looking like a bodybuilder, but I do, I do, I do enjoy being in good shape. Uh, it's important. It, it really is important because of the way I, 
because of the way that I feel and like I just said, I impact the people around me. So guys, when it comes to your habits, stop thinking of just you. Okay, stop thinking of just you. Your, your, your wife, your, your wife could be saying to you, look, um, I, I, I love you the way you are. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. And if you go and ask her, is that a lie? She'll say, no. I'm talking on a scientific level. The woman wants to be with, with a progressive individual. Whether you believe that or not is irrelevant. I don't, if I didn't believe in, in gravity, right? If I didn't believe, if I jumped off this balcony right now, it doesn't matter whether I believe in it or not, I'm gonna fall down and die. So it doesn't matter if you don't believe, men, that your wife or your partner wants to be with a progressive individual. Okay, your wife wants you to be making more money right now. Your wife wants you to be in better shape right now. Your wife actually likes you when you when you have a line and you don't budge on that line. Here's a must. Here are my standards because what's going to happen is she'll keep pushing that, pushing that, pushing that, and then she'll actually end up resenting you and leaving you for a person who doesn't budge on their standards. Okay, you need to understand this. Same, same for you, women. When it comes to when it comes to uh, being a high value woman, us men, we want to make sure, we, we want we want to be with a, a woman that values herself, right? Doesn't abuse herself. A woman again, you know, stick, sticks to what she said that she was going to do. A champion, right? Um, she doesn't lower standards or anything like that. No, 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 no. What I'm trying to say is the whole point of this video is by you not sticking to your disciplines, you are impacting the people around you. Okay, and I'll let you be the judge of whether that's negative or positive. I know how I want to impact my people, so I'm going to live up to that. Okay, guys, I love you all. Check out the view. We're going to go over and we're going to grab a salad. Um, we've got Top Golf over there. I'm going to smash some balls. Pause. <laughs> Alright guys, I love you all. Let's get it. Yeah. Yeah. Fall back too close. You ain't